Imagine going out fishing and catching a two-headed shark fetus. Best fishing trip ever, am I right? Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. How often do you see a two-headed shark fetus? Probably never. This little fella found off of the Florida Keys is one of only six that have been found worldwide. Currently, it's being ooed and awed at by scientists as they try to learn everything that they can about the creature. So far, they've told us that its two heads are caused by axial bifurcation, which happens when an embryo is about to split into twins, but doesn't quite get there. So you end up with like one and a half creatures instead. This is the first bull shark we found with two heads, but animals with two heads in general aren't that uncommon. You may have seen a two-headed snake or a turtle before. There are also two-headed alligators and even humans. There have been many documented cases of conjoined twins throughout history. Abigail and Brittany Hensel are conjoined twins alive today who actually have their own reality show about their life on TLC called Abby and Brittany. So they're 23 years old and they're doing well, although as you would imagine, there are a lot of health complications that accompany that kind of condition. Now there was another neato shark fetus found not too long ago in Mexico, but instead of two heads, this one had one eye. Cyclops shark, a thing of Grecian nightmares. Except not super nightmare because look at that thing. It's just a cute little rubbery fetus. In addition to being albino, this shark has cyclopia, which is caused by a failure of the front of the brain to properly divide into two eye sockets. Like axial bifurcation, cyclopia is also witnessed in other species, so we see it in humans once in a while, although they tend not to survive. We've also seen it in kittens, although they also tend not to survive. Actually, the odds aren't really great for any creature with cyclopia. Sadness! Perhaps more common though are various conditions where a creature has extra or fewer limbs and fingers than normal. For instance, there's an octopus living at the Blackpool Sea Life Center in England that only has six legs. So naturally they call him Henry the Hexapus because, you know, he only has six. And it's the first and only creature of his kind that we've seen. His caretakers say that he functions just as well as all the other octopi and he has no problem taking down his prey even though he's two legs short. So badass animals in nature all. I love it. If you love it too, you should check out our DNews Facebook page and Twitter because we'll be posting more awesome science updates there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.